What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're getting ready to go out, try to shoot some rabbits and some squirrels today out here with our buddy Pruka. Cottontail 500, here we go. <laughs> he invites us out here every year to a small game hunt on his farm after deer season closes, so that's exactly what me and Ted are going to do today. We're going to alternate back and forth. We got Zinger's little 20 gauge here. It's a youth model. Small game hunting is an awesome thing to do uh, yeah. if you're trying to get new people involved in hunting or if you're just trying to go out and have a good time. Yeah. At some point in the next week, we're going to run out to public land too and see if we can get a few more out there and then cook them up in Mindy's air fryer. Hey, let's look for some sheds today too. Yeah, yeah. maybe we'll find some. Let's get after them. Here, Ted, you can shoot first. Are going to let Ted shoot first? Yep. That's the same Ted that shot at that big buck with the muzzleloader, right? Yep. Go easy on him. <laughs> if something runs out of here in the wide open and we miss it, then we look really bad. If you miss, him, miss. If you miss him in the brush, it doesn't matter. I don't miss. <laughs> yeah, they're going to push this right here. Pruka's going to come around the high side, and Ted's going to be ready to shoot this lane. Look alive, Ted. I'm ready. There's one. Got him. Nice. I told you, Pruka, I don't miss. <laughs> nice, Ted. One down. One down. <laughs> good job. Nice job. First one down. This baby's going to taste good in the air fryer, huh? Yeah. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't last long. Is that a little trail there on that side, too? Yeah, kind of. Right there, right there, right there. Him, boy. Got him. <laughs> hey. Did I hit him or not? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he was dead. He was, you shot him again. <laughs> he was still moving, so I was like, we better go ahead and put another oh, one in it. <laughs> Off to a good start. You want me to go? Yeah, your turn. I just killed one. Now you it's your turn. One? I don't know if I got it or Pruka got it. <laughs> hey, the both are pretty good. Pretty good rabbits. Heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Looks like a little rabbit bed back in there. No rabbit in it though. A couple tracks going in there, a couple turds. It's a good spot for a mature rabbit to be laying. We got a lot of tracks right here. Melon? Good stuff right here, Ted. This is a good looking habitat. A lot of good diversity. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Hang on, hang on. Oh my god, right there. See him? him? One to the left. Got him, I think. <laughs> Got him. That was a poke there. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't get a good shot until you went across that road. That was a 40 yard bomb on that guy. You're up. Number three down, Ted. He was going through that brush. I thought he was gonna stop right there. Yeah. And then he took off mad dash across the road. That first one was sitting right up in here somewhere and went out through went out through that and cut back. Sitting right up in there. Pheasant tracks everywhere in here. That's a perfect little rabbit hut there. There he goes! Get him? No! Dang it! There he's going up on the neighbor, Scott. Oh, yep. Oh, I might have got something up in there. Must have shot just right behind him. Dang it. He was tight, boy. Where'd he get out of? Right here. Right there. Yeah, I just said these look like perfect little rabbit huts in here. Yeah. And then he got up. Well, got off to a hot start, but per usual, we had to work for them. It would be fun if they were that easy. Yeah. I like hunting them in the snow because you can see them a lot better and you can see their tracks and stuff. It's not really about shooting them. It's fun just to be out. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's awesome. Time to take them to the ranch, clean them, get them ready to throw in the air fryer. your plan for that stash you're growing in. Let it grow, see where it takes me. I don't want to go for gators. I 
there's gators for sure, but I, you don't have to worry about gators. Long power line cuts that run through the center of it that'll have roads kind of built up on them where you can take those in for a long ways. I'm sure Dave will be down there as he usually be a good, is. Be a good hunt to get ourselves calloused up for the spring. <laughs> I see him. You, you're kind of hanging out in the road here, Ward. I'm aware of that. I'm just putting the full drive. tail in. <coughs> you got a truck coming this way, too. Your tail's kind of hanging out. This is all public land here on the right, isn't it? In the left? Let me pull up on X one. So. Yes, it is, Aaron. Maybe. It looks good. Let's just give it a drive by oh. quick. Looks rabbity. <laughs> Probably gets mud out. Ooh, we got a side by side and does an it, over under. Does it shut? Uh huh. Just give it a little force. You just gotta be brave with it, huh? You're not gonna break it. Modified full. Got that a little extra they, forgiveness. That way, when they get up right here, I might actually be able to hit them still. All right, well, we're back out. How many days ago was it when you guys went rabbit hunting last week or so? Yeah, week last ago, week. Maybe. You guys went to Prukas, shot a couple there, and uh, we don't have enough for a meal, I don't think, for all of us. And Mindy's wanting to make some rabbit up, so we're going to try some public today. We've got a big snowstorm that came through. It's pretty chilly out today, but we should be able to see if there's any rabbits in here. we got fresh snow, so that's about the best conditions you could have. We'll let the senior citizen go down to the end there, and me and Ted will walk it through to you. You just find yourself a good rabbit trail, and find don't miss. a little bucket and sit down. <laughs> Oh, pheasant. Another one. Bunch of pheasants. Oh. That's gonna hurt if that keeps happening. <laughs> Good spot, Ward. Let's get out of here. Nope, there was one sitting there with that cedar. Was there was? There? Yeah. <gasps> quite, quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this public on the left? Yeah, it's all pub. That looks real good. Cool. House right there. How far do we have to be away from those? 200. 200 yards. All right, so first spot we struck out. Tracked a couple little brush piles along the way. And uh, seems like they're in the cedars or anywhere that there's cover touching the ground. So we're in a spot now. We drove up this road. We saw two rabbits right off the road, but they're too close to houses for us to shoot a gun. So now we're far enough away from houses and we're in some similar habitat. We're gonna go try that on for size. Seemed like the rabbits we saw were in heavy cedars. I don't know if that's a rabbit. Necessarily. I'm ready. You got tracks or? Bunch of tracks here. Yep. Got him. <laughs> Heck yeah. Just got to this power line here and all these multiple rows. Got a little ditch down there. I think he was tucked down that ditch. He was just about to disappear so I had to take him. There's rabbit tracks everywhere in here though. I don't know how wet my camera is, but there he is. It'd be good eating. That's my favorite type of shooting though, where you don't have much time and they're getting away. It's that's fun practice there for any hunting situation. This thing is soaked. 
I don't know where those guys are at. There he, there he is. Oh, I believe he's got one. Looks like he's tore down a little bit. <laughs> you got one. Yeah. Woo. Make a rabbit out of that. You don't want him up front there? Right? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want rabbit fur all over the truck. I'll hold him then. You don't want him? Got one. Yep. I didn't hear you guys shoot. <laughs> No, nope. because we were all sitting. <laughs> we were all sitting right here when you shot. Yeah. You guys gave up. Dad was eating a peanut butter bar. Yeah. Dad was yep. eating a peanut butter bar, and I'm looking through intern applications, and, and I'm out there trying to get dinner. Three rabbits to eat. We got four rabbits to eat. We're not done yet. Huh? We're not done yet. Plenty of time. No, maybe a fifth rabbit is in the cars yet. These are some uh, venison stick tips here. Yeah, I'll take a couple. Oop. All right, so we're back at Greg and Mindy's. Uh, it's the following night now. After getting our butts kicked yesterday, all three of us went out and uh, we were able to scratch out one rabbit throughout the whole group. I think we saw two or three, but... <laughs> Wasn't our best effort. Yeah, it was a pretty poor poor day of hunting or we just picked the wrong spot, something. But So Mindy is going to show me how she's going to air fry these things up. So I just stole a fried chicken recipe off the internet. Um, so we marinated it in like hot sauce and buttermilk and salt and pepper and then we're going to try to batter it and air fry it and see what happens. How long did it marinate for? Um, I think I got this put in at about 12.30 today. I think overnight is always better for marinating, but sometimes you don't have that option, mm -hmm. so. All right, let's we'll see how this goes. How about it? We got full moon and fresh snow on the ground. Probably should be out coyote hunting tonight. No, oh, I shot Ted Miller a text. That's the next uh, plan. I think tomorrow night we're gonna go out. He said, that's what he was thinking too, he said full moon, do some night hunting. <laughs> so since we don't really know what we're doing, we're just going to experiment and kind of play around with the, um, the timing. I'm going to go ahead and use the temp off the recipe that I found and we'll just kind of check it part way through. So since these are a little bit bigger pieces, maybe more like chicken, I'm going to try to go five minutes and flip them in five minutes and just see where we're at. Flip it and go for feel. another five. I don't know. Now we're gonna Longer. go a little more. Time to eat. These just came out of there. Tear yeah, a little okay. chunk of it off, Ted. What are you gonna try next, Mindy? We're just gonna try not putting the batter on it and see how that goes. Hot, hot. So 13, 14, 15, half of 15 hot. is like seven. So we'll go seven on each side. These, These are good. Done. These are done for sure. All right, that's real good. Would you It'd say be real really easy to eat though? right off the bone, just like you would like a I chicken would. leg, mm -hmm. almost. Oof. Sturgeon Spearing 21. 2021. You guys getting wild up there, Jake. The main lake that you can spear every year if you apply. And then that's where you speared the one before. But on the upriver lakes, I think it took me like seven years to get it. Oh wow! So there's more sturgeon up there. Your chances go from five percent on Winnebago to sixty-five percent or something on the upriver oh, lakes. Oh, nice! So you're gonna spear one, you think? I mean, I don't know. Hopefully. Nice. There's some species of sturgeon oh, yeah. that get five, six hundred pounds. Yeah, like they're I, enormous. Yeah. You might white, actually white be able to ride. Maybe? Yeah. White, white. I think they're in the Snake River. Something like that. Ted could ride one in. You could, yeah. I can ride in. I'm go for you. With the darn. Pretty good. Look at that meat. So for our first attempt at air frying rabbit, it's successful far? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. You gotta try it without the yeah, barbecue sauce first. Yeah, Ted. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Mm -mm. You sure? Not on my plate. You don't chicken wing me. Okay, so which is better, Ted? Coating or no uh, coating? coating. I'll get better like that. 
Really? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. So we're one for one. We got a tiebreaker. Tie Ted's young, immature taste buds. Immature taste buds. When you came to us just a few short years ago, you were knee high to a duck, young, innocent, mustacheless. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like Opie to your Andy Griffith war. <laughs> <sighs> hey, most most kids your age don't even know what Andy Griffith I, is. I was actually really impressed. I know what Andy Griffith is. Yeah. Come on. Okay, so better with or without the coating? Flip a coin. Make like I said a while ago, guys, it's rabbit. It's amazing. It's great. Go shoot some. Cook them. It's hard to mess this up. All right, now let's bring it home. Here, let me do a cool sweeping camera move to <laughs> make you licking your pretty. fingers. Make you look pretty. I'm sure people are going to love watching this. <laughs> well, that's it for the rabbit video. I think next, uh, me and Ted, we're going to go join up with Ted Miller and try to do some coyote hunts. But this is our favorite time of year to get out and do all the other hunting that we don't get a chance to do during deer season. We kind of get caught up in that. So it's fun to get out. And I don't know, that's kind of what we all grew up, grew up doing with small game hunting. So. Coyotes next, huh? We'll see. Coyotes and bobcats. Yeah, maybe bobcats. Coyotes and bobcats. Ted's got his fur bears. He's ready to go. And then a little sturgeon spearing. <laughs> yep. And then turkey hunting. That's what we're up to next. We'll see you on the next one. I don't really want to talk. Oh, me neither. Go ahead, Ted. You're the one that shot that rabbit. No, not that one. Come on. All right, this is my rabbit. Um...